Hey guys, welcome back to Tech It and part two of the Red Power walkthrough. So last time I showed you the basics and this time we're gonna go a bit further than that. So let's get started and yeah, welcome back. So the first thing I want to show you is the handsaw. Now this thing you're gonna use a lot in Red Power and it's pretty cool to be honest. So this is how you make one. Uh, some sticks, some iron and some diamonds. Uh, you can also use sapphire or ruby or iron even, um, but I always just make diamond. It's only two diamonds and it lasts forever. I've been playing for about I don't know, 30 hours, 40 hours on my let's play and it's still not done. It's only halfway or so, so it lasts forever. Let's get it out. So what can we do with this? Well, have you ever had this problem? either in Red Power or Buildcraft all works the same where you can make these machines as compact because these pipes sort of connect straight to the side of the macerator and this works the exact same way with um, Buildcraft pipes as well it's annoying isn't it? yeah very annoying I thought so so in Red Power we have something called covers as you can see using covers uh, so let me just show you how to make one. Oh, don't have a crafting. <laughs> Help. Uh, okay. Let's get out of creative. That'll work. So, we have a diamond handsaw. You put it in your crafting slot. You put any block in there. Um, you, I know it works on most blocks. So, dirt, stone, marble, iron blocks, diamond blocks, wool. Pretty much anything this works on. So, you put it under it and it'll make marble slabs. If you put it under it again it'll make panels. If you put those in there again you make covers. Now now comes the really nifty part. You see this interface? That shows you where this is going to be placed. So these are sort of like half blocks uh, and in this case very small blocks and they're amazing. You can do cool stuff with it. Now the first thing I should uh, explain to you is these work best when used with red power stuff and I'll show you what I mean so uh, let's do let's place a macerator and I'll just do oh, go back into creative and I'll just show you how it sort of half works half doesn't work stop raining please thank you make it dawn as well so if I place this, you can see here under the dirt that it sort of sticks out. So this is actually um, in the block next to the macerator. So I can't place anything else in this block. So no chest, nothing. Now if I would get some, let's get some, uh, some pipes. Just normal build craft pipes. So say cobblestone transport pipes. I can't place these here because this is obstructing it. As you can see, it places it next to it. Same, if I try to put something on that, it sort of puts it on the next block, as you can see. It sticks or it hangs over again. So, industrial craft and build craft are not optimized for this, but red power is. So, you know this little problem we have here? Well, if we use a cover and we place it, next to the macerator it actually blocks this pipe from going on and I can show you that here this pipe or tube I should say and the cover are on the same block space whilst you can do that with build craft pipes which is pretty amazing so you can make really compact stuff with this you can block off absolutely everything with this and uh, another cool thing is you can sort of hide it from view and as you can see it's still the same block so there's nothing sticking out and it looks amazing and you can sort of hide all your pipes if, you, if you'd like to so that's sort of the uh, the cover system and I use this a lot in my playthrough so if you watch my let's play you've seen this used so many times because it just makes it so much more compact and easy and nice and whew, it's nice I like it now covers are used for another thing uh, which uh, brings me to the point where I want some extra covers please do I have any anywhere nope so this, uh, oh, I have the same problem here. Let's put a cover there. That's better. Now it only goes up and well, into the lever. Um, 
this is a very common sight for most of you, I'm, I'm sure. So you have a chest, you have some dust in there. You want to put those dust into the macerator, macerate it, and then you want to pull it out of the macerator into this chest, which will contain all the ores. Now, when I do this, it only powers this transposer and these tubes. And now we want to find a way to get these powered at the same time as these. And yes, we could put another tube here and here, but it'll just make a mess and it doesn't, it's not good. Don't do that. <laughs> so Red Power has something called jacketed wires. So you make these by using covers, just in a hollow square with a red alloy ingot in the middle. Um, again, you can use wood, you can use stone, cobblestone, anything really. And I'll make these jacketed wires. Now these are pretty cool. Uh, I can just uh, place them here maybe. So these can connect to any tube and all they will do is, is transport power. So, now that we know that, this is going to look ugly, I warn you now. I can do this. Get out. So once I power this, the current will move through this into this pipe and I will pass it on to this as well. So jacket wires, very useful. You're going to have to use them a lot. Uh, also because, and I'll show you this, uh, where can we show it up best? Uh, here maybe. Um, let's get get some red alloy wires, the ones that I showed you how to make in the last episode. These. These don't connect to these pipes. They don't. But if you put a jacket of wire on it, and then put it back under there. Now it's connected. So these two are now connected. So if I power this, it'll power this whole tube system. Um, so definitely something you have to keep in mind, something you're going to use a lot. Uh, they're very easy to make, so it's all good. Now, the next machine. I've, I've only really showed you the transposer. So now we get to the filter. Now it's a bit of a pain to make. Um, but once you make one of them, you can straight away make a lot of them, and I'll show you why. So first of all, you need your alloy furnace out again. Chuck some sand in there, some coal in there. Eight of each. It has to be eight. Can't be less. And I'll make you this silicon buell thing. Yeah. <laughs> so take that out and then put it in a crafting bench or just in your normal crafting sort of area. Um, with a diamond handsaw or any handsaw, I believe. Don't quote me on that and it'll make these silicon wafers and it makes 16 of them so that's quite a bit so once you have these 16 oh I didn't make that okay once you have these 16 let's take them out of there shall we we chuck them in there and we put only one and we get some red stone four of them and I'll make you this red doped wafer and you're going to need this for the filter. So if we open the filter, we need one red dope wafer, a bunch of cobblest cobblestone, some gold ingots, and a piston. And that makes you the filter. Now, why use a filter? Well, one, it can pull out entire stacks, whilst the transposer only pulls out one item at a time. And two, you can tell it what to pull out. And that is amazing. So I'll show you here. Say for example, and this is a bad example, um, but it's the easiest to show you, the, le the least confusing. Say you have a chest and you have some dust in there and you have pistons in there, or anything else. Say a sign, and jacket wires, and filters. <laughs> uh, and there's a macerator here. You only want to pull all the dust out of, out of the chest to put it into, into the macerator. So you put down a filter. Same as transpose, it looks exactly the same as well, or at least as far as I can tell, it looks exactly the same. You right click on it and it shows you this sort of, um, you know, gooey. You put in here, and this works ex almost the same as a diamond pipe if you used to build craft. You put the items in here that you want this filter to pull out of the chest. So in this case, I want to pull out silver dust, but not the pistons. And when, when I power this, it'll pull out the silver dust and keep the rest in here. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind with filters is 
if you put one silver dust in there it's only going to pull out one silver dust at a time if we put two in there like that it'll pull out two at a time so if you want to pull out whole stacks you have to actually put a whole stack of silver dust in there um, sometimes you, you, you need that you know so yeah that's the filter uh, definitely something you'll use a lot uh, you can set up a color filter but I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that in the next episode when we do some sorting and then we move on so all these machines that we made before so in this tutorial and the last one um, do not require you to use and make any power now the power in red power is called blutricity and it's it's fairly simple to 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 get but first of all we're going to need to make two things the first thing is again the silicon wafer that i showed you how to make earlier and instead of adding redstone to it we add nickelite to it and that makes this blue dope wafer and you need a lot of them uh, so probably i would get maybe 32 or so then you need to get some silver and this is the only use of silver in the game as far as I know and add it, combine it with nickelite put it in the alloy furnace again and that makes you blue alloy ingots now once you have these two you put them together into a crafting bench like that uh, so eight blue dot wafers in a hollow square with a blue alloy ingot in the middle and that makes you a solar panel now these are not the same as the industrial craft solar panels so keep that in mind they look completely different as well so I made some before so we're going to take those. You know, we're just going to nap those. Why not? So let's empty my, uh, my my space there. Nice. Make it dawn again. Cool. Now, the next thing we need is cables. As we saw the red alloy wires, uh, which are here. These ones. And they carry a red power pulse. Or a red stone pulse, I should say. Uh, but now we want wires that can transfer blutricity. So this is very simple, you get some blue alloy ingots and some wool, doesn't matter what color, so you can use white, it doesn't matter, it all makes the same cable. And it makes these blue alloy wires. And these work uh, fairly similar um, with the placement as red alloy wires, so you can actually go along the walls and stuff like that, on the ceiling, so that's pretty handy. So let's put some of these down, shall we? Uh, maybe uh, like that, four, yeah, sounds good and then we could have a machine somewhere and we can just connect it with wires like that straight away but as you know with industrial craft when it gets night time these don't work anymore so we need something to store the power in and in red power we use a battery box uh, and for that we need to make some batteries which is uh, pretty simple so it's six nickelite like that and copper and tin and make sure these bt batteries now you need four of them for each battery box so keep that in mind so the battery box itself is four batteries, one wood, three iron, and one blue alloy ingot, and that makes these battery box. I've made some already. Eh, rain really. So let's put one of them down. Let's um, let's say we have a wire maybe here and a battery box there, and then you can right click on it and it shows you. Now this is the charging factor this is the sort of the, the actual battery so how much power it holds and it'll take a while you know uh, and we just want to speed the process up so we're just going to add some more now another big difference between industrial craft panels and, and red power panels is that these have a wire inside of them so you can actually hook them up like that and this cable will get all power from all solar panels that doesn't work in industrial craft so keep that in mind nice and easy so you can see that is uh, sort of getting to the top very slowly maybe maybe come on yeah there we go so that's slowly gaining power and again we just want to speed the process up so da da la 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 da 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 there we go oh now we're talking still slow uh, what you can do is you can actually make it faster by adding more cables um, this might not help but over long distances these lose power but if you put two next to each other they'll actually lose less power so that's just something to keep in mind so that's enough for now 
So what can we do with power? Well, one of the items, or machines I should say, it's called a retriever. And I showed you how to make a transposer and a filter which pull items out of machines when they're connected to it. But we also have the retriever. Now this one is made by using brass, which I showed you in the last episode, leather, ender pearls, so that's a bit of a pain to get, a filter, two iron ingots and a blue alloy ingot and I make sure these retrievers and they look pretty cool uh, and whilst I'm at it let me also get a, a screwdriver go and let's place this retriever now hmm let's put it here for now now it looks very complicated it's, it's really not I uh, no dally you'd have seen this sort of problem where you have multiple chests or even multiple macerators. Uh, say, for example, I don't have a, I don't have an example here. Okay, never mind. <laughs> say, for example, these are macerators. And you want to pull out all the ingots that come out. All you would do is you connect them all up to the same tube system, and then you put a. And I just have to see if I can remember which side I should put it on. I think this way. I think so, yeah. Um, and this retriever needs to be powered. So let's do that right now. Let's go from the battery box right into the retriever. So let's remove that one just to. And you can see it's all powered up now. And it's got a little internal battery as well, but it's very small. And then you get this sort of thing, which is the same as a filter. So anything you want to pull out of these chests. Um, so say we have some blue ingots, so let's get one of each out there. There we go. So we put those into a retriever. We powered it already, so now we just need to supply it with a redstone current. So do we have any torches maybe? A lever? No? Lever? Plonk that down, give it power, and chunk! It's going to pull out one item. Another time, it's going to pull out another item. So it only pulls out one item at a time, so be careful of that. Now there's these options, but um, we'll get into them at another point. Uh, just know that a basic one, what it does, it pulls out one item here, starting at the top left, then this item, then this item. So that's sort of how it works. So if I pull it again, it's going to pull out a blue yellow ink it. There we go. And it goes back there again. So next time it's going to get an iron ingot. There we go. That's an iron ingot. So this makes it even more compact. So instead of this setup, where you'd need another, oops, another transposer here, you could literally have tube here going down into the ground or wherever, and straight away another macerator tube macerator, and and just go from there, and then just have one retriever do it all. So yeah, pretty cool. So that's the uh, the second episode of this Red Power um, tutorial series. The next episode, we're going to have a look at some more machines that require power, uh, namely the sorting machine. We're going to look at painting some of these tubes to differentiate them. And yeah, some other cool stuff as well. There's so much to do in Red Power. It's amazing. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.